Hi there. We're going to have a look at our letter J. J says J, 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 J. The letter J starts at the grass line here and it goes all the way to the underground line. It has this tail, so it is going to be touching the underground line. It then goes back up to this dot up here. And this dot is floating, it's not touching one of the dotted lines. I like to call this position the cloud because it's floating between the grass and the sky. So to do this letter, I also like to use the imaginary box to help me while I'm first learning this letter, just to give me that shape. So I'm gonna start at the grass and I'm gonna go straight down the side of this box all the way to the underground line and I curve when I get there and I kick over to the other side of the box. That just lets me know how wide to do my kick. And I'm going back up to the top of my letter J here, but I'm going to that cloud position where it's floating between the grass and the sky. And I do my little dot there. Okay, so without the box, starting at the grass, going straight down underground, doing that curve and into that kick for the tail. Then going back up to the cloud position and doing that little dot there. So some trouble that we see students have with the letter J is that sometimes they don't know which way it goes. So something to think about is that it has that tail just like the letter Y or the letter G and they kick in the same way. Okay, so we shouldn't be seeing the letter J going this way. Then it starts to look like a very strange big letter I and that's not what we want to see. We want the letter J kicking the right way. We also don't want to see the letter J without its dot when we're doing the lowercase letter J. So sometimes we might see people do their J's without the dot, or they might do them without a tail, without the dot, or sometimes they might even try a big one. And none of these are lowercase J's here. So to make it the lowercase j, you must remember to put the dot on the top at the cloud. So if you can remember two things about this letter, that it must start at the grass and it must go all the way to the underground line to do its kick and its tail. That would be really helpful when you are practicing it. And the last thing is that dot floating nicely at the cloud and remember, it doesn't need to be one of those big dots. It just needs to be a little one. All right, go and practice your letter J. I know you'll make it look terrific. Well done, everyone. Bye.